Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Wow. Good day, everyone, and welcome to our group Rhapsody of Realities Online Partners and Prayer Conference. Praise the Lord. And from all around the world, um, everyone participating with us, and of course, our brethren participating right here from church. I'd like to say welcome to you. First, I'd like to say a very good thank you to our high extended uh, man of God, our father, my father, my boss, my mentor, my teacher, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilori, TSE, TSE, DT. Thank you so much, sir, for the blessings, the impartation of grace that you brought to my life and so giving me the opportunity to be relevant in ministry. Thank you so very much, sir. I love you, sir. Praise the Lord. And um, firstly, I would, I'd like to introduce those that are with me on the platform. But before I do that, I'll introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Pastor MacDonald, very, very so. I'm the group pastor of Love World Group 3, Guild of the Church So, And to my right, immediate right, I have the same pastor Excel, very, very so. And I have, uh, after that, I have Sister Zizi Shekede, who is the chairman of the uh, language sponsorship. Praise the Lord. Or rather, the chairman of the language ambassadors. Language ambassadors. Praise the Lord. You can go in there, clap. And then to my left, I have Sister Joy, one of our cell leaders, prolific cell leaders in church. And then to, after her, I have Brother David Thatcher, who is the vice chairman of the language um, ambassadors. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, first we are reaching you live from the city of Benin, here in Edo State, Benin City, the capital of Edo State, in the southern part of Nigeria. Praise the Lord. And um, I'll just give you some, just a brief detail about Benin City. Benin City has like approximately um, 1.496 million people in the city and the English language is the predominant language you know because we have different uh, tribes in the city different people who uh, will be located into the city and then the but the, the 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 tribal language of the city is the Benin language is the Benin language and, and so you see what we're doing here this morning, it's very important because we're talking about um, um, the reach out world, using the realms of your realities in affecting our world. And so language is very important. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like to read um, a verse of scripture to us in Psalm 67 verse 2. So wherever you are, I just like you to go to that verse of scripture, Psalm 67, verse 2. I'll take it from the Living Bible translation. It says, Send us around the world with the news of your saving power and your eternal plan for all mankind. It says, Send us around the world. This was the, the prayer of David. You know, David was both a, a king and a prophet. He said, send us around the world with the news of your saving power and your eternal plan for all mankind. And then in one final scripture, in Matthew 24, verse 14, for the passion, to, uh, passion translation, he says, yet through it all, the good news of heaven's kingdom will be proclaimed all over the world, providing every nation with a demonstration of the reality of God. And after that, the end of this age will arrive. Hallelujah. Praise God. So language is very important. Language is very important. Um, just before I um, continue, I just share with you briefly. I just share with you briefly on um, some testimonies of some of our brethren who the raps of the realities has been a blessing to them. Is a perhaps the reality is it's blessing to millions and billions all over the world. 
you see. And so Rob Sunday of Realities has been a blessing, and I believe it has been a blessing to every one of us here, and then you that is watching us, from wherever you are watching us, from, from around the world. I'll just read this testimony from, this is from Sister Praise, from our Mishnah Outreach, Mishnah Outreach Marabai Abuja. She says, I want to thank God for Rhapsody of Realities. It has done so much to my spirit. I no longer have to struggle through my daily life, especially in the early hours of the day. My confession has changed since Rhapsody of Realities. And I have been steadily growing, glory to God. Spiritually, she says, no more back and forth in my growth. You see, so you see what Rhapsody Realities has done. And then we have um, another person. We have Brother Chosen Udo, same Mishak Outreach Maraba in Abuja. He says, glory to God. Ever since I came in contact with Rhapsody Realities, it has been an eye-opener to me. In my spiritual life, it has been an eye-opener. It says, I have been awoken to the fatherhood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Fatherhood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Knowing my purpose in life and knowing how to fulfill its fulfill my purpose in life. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So so much Rams and Evangelists has done for us. So much. As we study daily, as we use the confessions daily, you see, the, 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 the divine health that many of us are enjoying is as a result of the, the confessions we use in the Rhapsody of Realities. Praise the Lord. Is as a result of the confessions we use in the Rhapsody of Realities. And um, why, why do we need to have Rhapsody of Realities in different languages, in all the languages, why do we need? I, I, I want to read to you a scripture in Romans chapter 10, verse 14. In Romans chapter 10, verse 14. So I'd like you to open to Romans chapter 10, verse 14, but this time from the Amplified Translation. And I want you to see this. He says, how will people call on him in whom they have not believed? And how will they believe in whom they have not heard. And how will they hear without a preacher? Then in bracket it puts messenger. So the rhapsody of realities, like a man of the calls it, the messenger angel. Praise the Lord. The rhapsody of realities is, um, is the messenger angel. And so this messenger angel has to preach in a language that people can relate to it. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah, it has to preach in a language that people can relate to it. Otherwise, it will be a blessing to them. And then, how many rhapsody of realities? And maybe I should have said this: rhapsody of realities is presently in seven thousand eight hundred and fifty-eight languages of the world. And still, what? God. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, so Rhapsody, having Rhapsody in all the languages of the world is a fulfillment of scriptures. Is a fulfillment of scriptures. Having Rhapsody in all the, rap all the languages of the world is a fulfillment of scriptures. I read to you um, a scripture earlier on in Matthew. These were the very words of the Lord Jesus. Matthew 24, verse 14. You know, in the King James, he said, and this gospel shall be preached in all the world, and then shall the end come. You see, he says, Lord Jesus is saying that until this gospel is preached in all the earth, in all the earth, he says, and then shall the end come. The gospel will be preached in all the earth. How can it be preached in all the earth? We have to have rhapsody in every language. Every language. Every language, rhapsody of realities has to be there in every language. You see, so this is scripture in fulfillment, scripture in action, prophecy in fulfillment. 
And that's why God meets you and sees in prayer. He said, and then, then if you go to what um, King David said, you know, in his prayer in Psalms, I read it to you earlier on in Psalms chapter 67. He says, send us around the world. In, in the even Bible translation. He says, send us around the world with the news of your saving power and your eternal plan for all mankind. You see, David made this prayer. Several years ago, he made this prayer and said, send us around the world with the news of your saving power and your eternal plan for all mankind. And now, today, this prayer is being fulfilled in our day. This prayer is being fulfilled in our time. You know, Paul, Apostle Paul, like after was saying in the promo we just watched, Paul wanted to go, you know, he had this word, the gospel burning in his spirit. He wanted to go places, but he could only go to some places at the time. But now, in our time, with Rhapsody of Realities, you can be here. And then the Rhapsody of Realities is doing impact in other nations, in China, in Russia, in Jamaica. In Ghana, you don't have to go there yourself. You see, and that is where partnership comes in. Hallelujah. That's where partnership comes in. So this is very important as we look into what the Lord is giving us to do or what the Lord has committed into our trust at this time. The Lord has committed to us, every one of us, great responsibilities. Great responsibilities. Yesterday, we, um, we've been listening to so much so much from the man of God. We'll be listening to so much. You see, and now at the Soul Winners Congress, the man of God shared so much to us. So much. So much. The Lord has given us a commission. He has given us a mandate. And that mandate will be fulfilled through the rhapsody of reality. Praise the Lord. We're going to be praying in the next few minutes. So, everywhere you are, uh, those participating from our churches and those um, participating from around the world, everywhere you are, and of course our brethren here will be, will be praying in some few minutes' time. And when we start to pray, I'd like you to realize the importance of what we're doing. We are joining the man of God. We are joining forces with the man of God in getting done. That which the Spirit of God has put in his heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I like us to kindly stand up on our feet. Hallelujah. We will be praying in the mouth of the Lord. And this is God's word of the kingdom of the church in all the world. It is for the weakness of all nations. And then shall the end come. And then shall the end come. We're going to be praying that you will reach out to all. In the next few days, we have the reach out to all with our man of God, Pastor Chris. It is a reach out to all, extra of the Gaza. Praise the Lord! It is going to from the feet to the seeds of me. The reach out to all will be coming. So we're going to be praying, we're going to be praying that God's people are vigorously spreading that the gospel in all the nations of the world this year. And through that process, they are reaching every man, woman, boy, and girl. And the impact will be resounded around the world. Hallelujah. In the same way, we're also going to declare that surely the earth is progressively filled with the knowledge of God's glory. As we take the message of Christ to the nations through the message of the angel, rather than your values. Oh, praise God. I like now as we pray, lift up your hands and we thank God. Pray for the impact of the gospel around the world. Korah Shanta Labakate Lahana. Lindo Soprundo Sikito Labakate Lahana. The Shine Peketa is Kora Hattash. Oh, Parata Katana Bade Kosine Pragata Shule Kahana. Shelamodo Rabakunda Brekina Kron Sikho Labakatas. Oh, Sikoto Rabakata Lahana. Just go ahead and lift up your hands and pray. Vini Kasodo Rushi Pragata Lahana. Rico, Shakatana, the Papa, 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 the Papa,
church, the segments in this program, which is a, the group wrap up on segments. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can go ahead and clap. You can go ahead and clap. For the next few minutes, um, we're going to be looking at our strategies and what we're going to be doing. You know, uh, after what Pastor said, you know, he said something, he said, the original world gives us the opportunity to reach every person, every person in the world in an uncountable and effective way. You see, in an uncountable and effective way. And so we are not just um, going around preaching or just doing what we're doing. We are doing it in an uncountable way. Praise God. Hallelujah. So... Every one of us has a role to play. Every one of us has a, a divine role to play. During the um, introduction of this 
the reach out world, you, you keep hearing seat, seat, and then, um, of course, the, the S stands for sponsor, the E stands for enlist, the other E stands for engage, and then the final one, D, stands for distribute. So these are the, the four things we're doing with the Rhapsody of Realities. We're sponsoring, we're enlisting, we're engaging, and we are distributing. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. So we're doing this for this. So um, for us here in um, Global Church, maybe before I um, go into that, I'd like to start first with um, our chairman for the Rhapsody language ambassadors you just tell us what your inspiration is what's your inspiration is your drive is for the rhapsody of realities what's your inspiration is your drive and then in, in two minutes just in two minutes what's your inspiration is and your drive what does rhapsody mean to you you know for you to uh put so much for the rhapsody reality it means that it means so much to you so what's the what is inspiration mean? Your drive rapidly rapidly. Praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together for Sister Zibi. Praise the Lord. I want to use this opportunity to say thank you so much for being here. It's such an inspiration to me. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Thank you. 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 Thank um, Rhapsody has always been this um, tool for me, the easiest tool for me to communicate with people. When I distribute Rhapsody, it's very easy for me to talk to them, it's very easy for me to invite them to church. So, I see how many people tell me that Rhapsody has gone to church. So many people, in fact, the people that have gone to church is through Rhapsody. It's not what I said, it's me giving them Rhapsody and inviting them and they just so come and start going to church. So I said to myself, keep this message that Indian book is very powerful to bring people to church. Why don't I engage myself by nationally to do more so that more people come to church? You understand? So I said to myself, there's something I I I heard. He said, when you are doing when you when you do something and do it, you don't do it repeatedly. You were not meant to do that thing. You have to do it repeatedly and do it more. So I'm saying that for this reach um, for this um, reach out um, world and for this um, for the rest of the rest language. For me to penetrate older people, older people that are not um, too good with English, but now they have brought their own language to them and say, okay, this is the word of God for you, in your own language, for you to be able to understand. So I'm saying that I am going to do one language. Praise, Praise the Lord. Put your hands together. Maybe you may not get what one language is. One language represents one million naira. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Yeah. Quite amazing. Thank you very much. That's our language um, ambassador, language chairman. So I'll come over to my left and I want to ask Sister Joy, what about prolific cellulitis? You know, a uh, pastor says to us, um, you cannot you cannot effectively win someone and, and in fact she said it as she was she was sharing uh, what amount of words do you want to tell someone that's what's packaged this thing here in fact if if you don't like talking just give the rhapsody <laughs> just give the rhapsody and that's that's all so what what is your inspiration what's your drive you know, what's your drive? And based on that drive, you know, um, what are you going to, what are you looking at in this season that we are, or in this season of the rich out world? 
And now we are even having a talk, especially compared with the man of God, Pastor Chris, and some few things, which are all extra big answer. So, what's your drive? What's your motivation? What's your inspiration for this rush to your enemies? So, just share with us briefly. Sorry to go. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Pastor, for the opportunity to be in the test with you. And I'd like to say, firstly, a big thank you to uh, my husband, man of God. Person of us, which is a for the opportunity to reach out to our own. Hallelujah. For well, my inspiration, Pastor Sam, um, if we just have completed the so many problems, I have talked a lot about the importance of so many more, which we have known about so in teaching us, we've been learning, but even much more, we've come to know the importance of so many. And we learned the game from our rapture today, God did not give enough. God is not giving up on so it's not about to, it's not eternal, everlasting, perfect. It's not going to stop. And I'm a child of God. I'm one person normally that I was during this program, I was thinking about it that on my own normally I'm someone that I go to someone this morning and they don't want to apply the point and just say with them. And then I used to think, why why does my don't give up? Why do our leaders, why do people don't give up? Why do our down? See the way our structure is. They push you, we push until we get done what we want. And I was like, okay. And then Pastor said it. God doesn't give up. He's our father of his nature, right? Our father doesn't give up. So I, I said to myself, okay. So I've learned one thing. Don't give up. I don't give up. God is passionate about people. He has always been. He's not going to stop being passionate about people. And he doesn't look just like what Aaron said today. He doesn't look at the people themselves. He's just looking beyond them. He sees himself in them. So as he looks at me, he's seeing my sister himself. That means, oh, the wonderful God. So it's not about to give up on me, regardless. And he says, even when we don't do well, he sees our potential. That this one, if you would just listen to me, and he would listen at the point, if you would just listen to me, so I'm not giving up on him because if I keep pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, he will listen. And if he listens, glory to God, he's going to do big things. Hallelujah. So even I decide on my own to much more. I'm not, we're not going to give up, we're not giving up. So why should I why should I say, oh okay, that's so because if I go out to win shows, even yesterday when I was asked us to go out for so many and after so many songs, I met uh, some people who one of them said, Ah, oh, that's so deep. I've been receiving this gift. This wonderful gift. I said I have a beautiful gift for you. And he said, Oh, we received this gift 20 years ago. And he said, eh, so how many have you received? He said, Ah, oh, so many. And I was like, don't worry. It doesn't matter, we're not going to stop. We're not able to stop giving you this gift. The most important thing is you study it and see what this gift can do for you. Glory to God. And so we are not stopping. Not people are valuing it or not. Of course, they are valuing it. They are reading it and exchanging their life. You see how many past lives are being changed by our study. So you know much more. Whether they throw it away, whether they pick it up, whether they read it, we are doing much more. We are not giving up because we are looking at the potential. These people will do much more. They can do more for God. The Bible says that the Lord has been, they, um, Satan has blinded the eyes of these people, blinded their minds, so that they will not see. The reason is because he knows that if they see, they will be saved. Hallelujah. So we are making them see. So with from this inspiration that I have gotten, I have decided that I'm going to pioneer one language by the Spirit of God that will give me the ability to do it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, by the word pioneer, you know, that's where your rhapsody of realities, um, language ambassador is. So it's true. What we say pioneer, we are engineering, we are influencing. Praise God. We are committing in ourselves that this will get it done. And we'll get it done to the power of the Holy Spirit. Those who are going to join us will join us. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's what it means to uh, pioneer, to engineer, to influence, you see. So we are committed to this thing. We are committed to this thing. In the city of Benin, um, for instance, we have um, some... Um, the prevalence of um, a particular kind of... Um, um, wronged. Uh, what we call the uh, fraudsters, you see, Yahoo, right? Good. So, 
how can these people be influenced? It's not by telling them that he will die. The soul that sinned, he shall die. Okay. Gospel is what? Good news. So and the messenger angel has packages, you know, every day comes with amazing words from the man of Master Priest. I hope you listen to what I'm saying. Every day comes with amazing words from the man of God, Pastor Chris. Every day. Hallelujah. And for each day, there is a package of blessing. And then it ends with, it ends with the confession, the daily confession. So imagine this young guy struggling, or imagine this young guy going in the wrong direction. Wherever it is, whether in this city or around the world, because we are also talking to people around the world. There, there, was, a, there was a story of a guy who, who wanted to commit suicide. I remember that, that particular Rhapsody of Reality's um, uh, promo. And we watched it. The guy wanted to commit suicide. And the mom gifted him Rhapsody of Realities. Wanted to commit suicide at different points and he kept failing. And the mom was praying for him, of course. And then he just said, let him go back to the house. And then there was a Rhapsody of Realities, the gift. And he studied it. And this guy went from depression from a state of depression to a state of inspiration. Praise God. And see Rhapsody in his language. Rhapsody in his language. Do you know, like the Bible shows us in Genesis chapter 13, uh, 11 rather, when the people wanted to construct the tower at Babel, they had all, all of them had what? One what? One language. And they said, we're going to construct this Tower. They said, yes, we're going to construct it. And they went about to do it. They started the work. But God, the Bible says, God came and looked at what they were doing. And he said, this people is one. And this, they said, what language? And this they began to do. He says, nothing will be restricted from them to accomplish. That means they will get it done. One language. Language is very important. Language brings unity. Language brings understanding. You see? So the, this person reading this, maybe it's an elderly woman, maybe it's a young guy reading it in his language, maybe in Yoruba, in, in um, Bidi, in Igbo, in Epic, or in Spanish, in um, Russian, in Arabic, we have Rhapsody of Realities in Arabic language. There is a local poet. You see this guy reading this thing in Rhapsody of Realities in Arabic language. And he can say the confession in Arabic. Can you imagine? In Arabic. He can say the confession in Arabic. Imagine as you are saying, um, I have the life of God in me. And the guy is saying his own in Arabic. Think about it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I mean, what about the language is? So we all are making this possible. Hallelujah. And I, I, at this time, I want to, I want to hear from someone um, very special to us here. For the extreme pastor, Excel. Let's put the hands together. Uh, thank you so very much. And... Um, for all you do in in a in a partnership drive in the church and in the group, so just tell us your inspiration very very quickly, your inspiration, your drive. Why this rhapsody of realities? Why should we? Why should we even join the man of God? Why? Why this? Praise the Lord! I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much sir, for this great opportunity. I'd like to also say a very big thank you to my man of God, Pastor Prince. Thank you so much, sir, for giving up, giving yourself to God because we are seated here today because you said yes to God. And in your saying yes to God, we also said yes and say we are aligning ourselves to fulfilling God's will and purpose for our life. Thank you so much, sir. 
Special acknowledgement to my highly esteemed journal director, thank you so much sir, for this great privilege. And to my group as well, thank you so much, sir. I'm so grateful. And special greetings to all our audience all over the world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. My rapture of reality is the tool that is so uh, unique. Rhapsody means a lot to everyone of us because if you are an ardent user of the rhapsody, you must have a, at least one personal encounter of what of what rhapsody is to you. Praise the Lord. Now, man of God gave us three points. He said, Pastor said something. He said, rhapsody of reality is a true for evangelism. Pastor said, it's a true for follow up. And the rhapsody of reality is a true for discipleship. So, this already gives us a roadmap on the importance of uh, the rhapsody of reality. You know, Pastor read a scripture for us not a uh, few minutes ago, Romans 10, verse 14 to 15. Um, I'll just go back there. He said, How then shall they call on him in whom they've not heard? And how shall they believe in him, in him of whom they've not heard? And in going back to Matthew 24, verse 14, that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all nations of the world and then shall the end come. So, our work in Rhapsody of Reality is a fulfilling prophecy. We are, we are aligning our steps to, to God's end time plan. And the, the important thing is, we don't know if somebody else is doing it. I mean, I'm not aware there is another ministry or I'm not aware of any other platform or medium of uh, evangelism or global evangelization like we have perhaps like i'm not aware there's another book that has been translated like rhapsody of reality so how do these other people that you know, let me say uh english is no english is common but english is not the most uh it's not the high, most uh spoken language in the world there are other languages that have uh, more speakers than english language so how do we get to penetrate those areas? How do we get to reach these people with the gospel? So you see the importance of our rhapsody of realities in the first place, and then the importance of driving the rhapsody of realities language sponsorship. Because uh, it, it, communication is it, easier. Actually, there's no communication when uh, the two people communicating are not in sync. Communication is when I talk to you, you get my language, like, like you're able to decode what I'm saying, then there's an effective communication. So this, uh, that is why we need to more than ever before be strategic in our language sponsorship. The rapture of reality has uh, also served as a tool for healing, like the work of evangelism, like I met a guy, he's actually in church, I gave him a copy of Rhapsody of Reality and he was sharing a testimony. He said on, on firstly this guy was a was into drugs, smoked um weed, was not born again, just living life recklessly. So I gave him a copy of Rhapsody. He actually called me and said, please come and give me I want to start going to church, I want to start serving God. So I gave him a copy of Rhapsody of Reality. As he kept on studying. The Rhapsody of Reality. He, he actually changed his name. They usually call him where he works. They call him Wako. And if you're in this part of the world, you know what Wako means. They call him Wako. So when he gave his heart to Christ, he changed his name from Wako to Miracle. Praise the Lord. And he kept on studying Rhapsody of Reality. Today he's no longer into drugs. Praise the Lord. And he testified that on one of those nights, he was having an issue with his leg. So because of his level of knowledge at that time, he was saying that um, some witches and wizards came to see his leg at night. But the only thing he could remember at that time was to take his copy of Rhapsody and place it on the leg. And that was how he slept off. Praise the Lord. And that was the last he heard of that pain. Glory to God. So you see, so many testimonies about the Rhapsody of Reality. But how do we push it further to that man, to that woman, in that in that other part of uh, our city, glory to God, and then in the region beyond, because we are in a, in a church without border. As we are thinking of um, immediate of contact, we are thinking of the region beyond. 
how do we get that man, that woman that that uh, does not show good in English or doesn't even know English at all? How do we get rapture of reality into their hands? You know, uh, rapture of reality well, is so dynamic. Apart from the print copy, we have rapture of reality translated in audio because not so many people can read, but they can sit down and listen to rapture of reality in their own indigenous language. As we do this, we are preparing for the soon coming of Christ. We are fulfilling scriptures. We are putting ourselves in the forefront. So like I said earlier, we are not aware any other person is doing it. So the responsibility is on us. The responsibility is on you. The responsibility is on me. So Pastor, in this regard, I'm going to engineer in the remaining 60 days we have, I'm going to engineer for at least a language to come through me. Glory to God. Yeah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, um, Rhapsody is in all formats for all categories of persons. It's 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 available for teenagers, the table is available for the children. The children's um copy of the Rhapsody Realities is available. We also, also have for the kids and elevators. You see, they are the kids and then the early readers. That means um, the early readers, those ones that are just getting to, so you, you, you have the rhapsody for them. Then you have the kids, they are the children. You have the rhapsody for them. Then you have the TIFO for the teenagers. I love that one. I love that one. You have the, uh, the, the and I tell you, you'll be amazed at what you will learn. Things that you didn't learn when you were a teenager, you learned now. <laughs> Praise the God. So you, you, you we have this, and then we have the adult rhapsody, which um quite a lot of us are familiar with. And then we have rhapsody even for those who are having challenges with that with the sat. That's a real version of the rhapsody realities. We have that one. So in other words, and then we have rhapsody for those who want to just want to. You are always on the go. You just want to be playing the rhapsody, and the rhapsody is is out there playing out, and you're hearing it in your language. We have the rhapsody um, in in um in in um in audio formats. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! So all forms, every way, the man of God has made these things available for us for both use consumption and also for equipping and discipling the world so we have tools for both ourselves to use and also tools to evangelize and disciple our world hallelujah and uh in these things now as we round up uh, just before i call on uh, our final uh, panelists um in these things now we have the, the subscription subscription that's the rhapsody reality subscription we have the um the distribution the sponsorship of the distribution and then we have the sponsorship of the languages you see the sponsorship of the languages so she said as excel mentioned the 90 day period it started in the first of april and it runs till June 30th. So right now we have 60 days, exactly 60 days. So what are you going to do in 60 days? What are we going to do? And that's what we're talking about. We've heard um, so I heard she said she's going to do one language, going to engineer one language, going to engineer one language, and she's going to engineer one language. Praise God. But uh, David, you are the you are vice chairman, Rhapsody Language Ambassadors. So share just briefly, just briefly. And remember you're talking to the world is so you're inspiring what you're going to say. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my enemies, the Pastor Sam. Thank you so much sir, for this wonderful opportunity to be here to stay with you. And also, before I proceed, I would like to say a very big thank you to our dear man of God, Reverend Dr. Pizzo Yakino, for giving us this privilege, for giving us this opportunity to influence our world, 
to reach out to every man and woman in our world with the rest of reality. Thank you so much, sir, for all the training that you've given out to us. Hallelujah. Rhapsody of realities. reality. Um, for, us, sir, for so many years, I've been in the ministry with you and for the training that we have received. To me, Rhapsody of Reality has been such a blessing to my life, to my family, to everyone in my catchment, even in my place of work. Because before I leave for the day of the work, Rhapsody of Reality helped um, to plan to prepare me ahead of my day. In fact, Rhapsody of Reality has become my own daily ID card. Before I leave my house, I must make sure that I have a copy in my bag. Because as I go out, I know that I'm going to meet with different people. You know, so much is happening out there if you go out. You see that um, a lot of people are being involved in themselves in different activities from the kingdom of darkness. So when I see this, when I go through this, it touches me. It makes me to have a different mindset that there is a lot for me to do for the kingdom of God. Because a lot of people, they put on in their money just to make sure that they create this different mindset to make the, the teenagers, to make different people in the world to have a different mindset about God. So it's my duty, it's my own duty, it's my own number one responsibility to make sure that the gospel is being preached. Not just being preached, but the gospel is being preached in our rhapsody of our reality. It's being reached out to every man, every man, every woman, every boy can okay, have rhapsody of reality in their own languages. Brothers and sisters, just imagine you have a rhapsody of reality in your own language. It's not a, a good thing, it's a, it's a blessing, thing, hallelujah. Because there are a lot of people they cannot speak good English, they cannot read on their own, or they can speak their language. They know how to read in their language, hallelujah. So for me, I have come up with a conclusion that by the power of the Holy Ghost, I have been uh, dedicated, I have committed myself that I will share one language. Praise God. One Praise language. God. So the five languages that we are doing in our church, that we are doing across our zone, is the reality that we talk about God. Because all the resources that are being, being made from men, and we are the Holy Ghost, we are penetrating. Yes. The men and women are coming in contact. Yeah. We go out with this reboot, we keep this, we change them, we change their mindset, we change the way they think by like the power of the Holy Ghost. Nothing yeah. is difficult because everything that we need has been given unto us. Like our man of God is saying, we are a man of the mission, we are men and women of the mission. Our Lord Jesus Christ committed his gospel into our hands. So, brothers and sisters, if uh, the people in the world will not give up, we in the gospel, we in the kingdom, we in the love world nation will not give up. We make sure that we surpass him. We make sure that we conquer. We make sure that every man and woman is being saved. Thank you so much, Pastor. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Wow, wow, we will go the extra length. We will go the extra length. You see, there are people in the world, they are not they are not ashamed to spend money for the wrong things. Well, we, like Pastor said, extravaganza, the reckless use of resources. When we use recklessly the resources that God has given to us for the sponsorship of the gospel. We shout, Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. From every one of us around our churches, you know, those of us in our churches, at this time, you can you can start making your commitments. You just heard him say, from our church, we're working on for this remaining 60 days. That's the June. Or we're, we're doing 25 languages. Yeah, you, you, it's something to shout about. Hallelujah. Something to shout about. Something to shout about. Something to shout about. And we are doing this by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. I just got from Lower Church at Saba. Lower Church at Saba. Going for a language. Glory to God. Glory to God. And of course, from um, one of our outreaches, our outreaches um, in Abuja, that is um, um, Misha Outreach, Maraba and Abuja. They're also going for a language. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So many things are happening. So many things that happen. And of course, they are beginning with um, some forms immediately. They are beginning with some forms immediately. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. So um, I want to give opportunity to everyone of us in the congregation and of course also in the congregation um, watching us um, from around the world and also in our churches give you the opportunity to make that commitment. If you can go for a, a, a language, go for it. If you can go for 5,000 copies, go for it. 10,000 copies, 8,000 copies. You know, um, as a roundabout, I need to also mention this. The subscription parts, the subscription part, it's, it's a strategy, the tool. As you get people to subscribe, you're also going to be um, getting people to sponsor the Rhapsody Realities through you. So the Rhapsody Realities subscription is also a tool to achieving all that we want to achieve in the Rhapsody Realities mandate this year. Praise the Lord. So we'll give opportunity to, to you at this time. So uh, in our churches, we'd like you to, we'd like the, the, the brethren to be given um, sleeps as you make this commitment, you know, make this commitment, what you're going to be doing between now and the end of June. The end of June. That's exactly 60 days. 60 days. You know, we are using our faith. We are working our faith. We are acting our faith. And our faith is producing amazing results. Glory to God. We cannot be stopped. Say amen. amen. We are unstoppable. Say amen. amen. All that we require has been given to us. Yes. You see, as we, as we talk to people about this, we get the responses. We get the responses. We have opportunities, financial opportunities. Doors of financial opportunities are open to us by the power of the Holy Spirit. We do not consider any limitation. There is no limitation. Limitless possibilities. Say limitless possibilities. Yes. And we are doing it. Expressing our love, expressing our faith for the kingdom, for the kingdom. And I want to thank especially our man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so very much, sir, for impacting us. Look at us doing what we're doing. We could have been somewhere doing something else. We could have been somewhere joking with our lives we probably may not have been alive but because we came in contact with you our lives have taken a new meaning and now we have take, taken upon ourselves that responsibility of soul winning that responsibility of kingdom expansion all we think now is the kingdom thank you so much sir, for blessing us for giving us the opportunity to be relevant in ministry and also to our highly extended zone of pastor sir thank you so much sir for that which you have done to us and in us thank you for pushing us to go the extra mile we love you so much every one of us we love you from lower group three we love you so much praise the lord what do you say to pastor we love you. praise god thank you so very much and to all our audience watching us from around the world, thank you for participating. And as we round up, we look forward to you being a glorious part of this rich our world and that which has been committed to our man of God, very Dr. Priest your kingdom. Take immediate action. Start now. Start now. Let the Lord use you to do that which he wants to be done in this end time, at this time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, and God bless you.